Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Chartreuse Leprechaun. My <clears throat> pardon me, my name is Mark, your host, and it's time for the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Now, we are here at Stellar Bay where we got a note from a dead, I think, smuggler? I think it was a smuggler. Someone who works for Sublight, a company that, quote, works around, end quote, the board to bring goodies to people willing to buy them. Um, yeah. So now we're supposed to be going to recover stuff over there. Oh, wait, no, that's Catherine. Oh, that's the person we're looking for. I, I confused myself. I thought that was to go get the stuff. We're supposed to go find her to, I assume, then go get the stuff. I mean, you know, that's the way these things work. So we'll see how that goes over there. The problem is getting to the other side of the bridge and surviving long enough to get Two, said Quest Marker. Last time we got killed by marauders over there somewhere, and and then when we tried again, we got killed by critters down over here. And uh, yeah, that's a pre-scripted thing. Every time we cross the bridge, it makes that announcement. Yeah, there's all those wonderful critters. Hi, how are you? So we're across the bridge, and we'll try this again, only this time, we're going to try using our companion special abilities using the D-pad. You know, the thing in the lower left of the screen. Yeah, you know, like we're supposed to. <laughs> of course. So where's my... Yeah, there it is. We got all kinds of energy stuff. Let's, uh, let's give that a try. Let's see what happens if we do this. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. Okay, this isn't working. Okay, we got that one. And we're dying. Heal. Heal. Try this again. That, who's my left? What? Oh, hi. Okay, we got that one. Wow. Um, yeah, that was not good. So much for using the D-pad. <laughs> well, um, yeah. All right, so we made it through that this time. Yay. Let's uh, come down here. Oh. A hole in the wall, a body with goodies. Whoops, wrong button. X in this game, not, yeah. Anyway, uh, anything else good in here? Uh, trying not to, ooh, stuff. Okay, what else is in here? All right, and yeah, and uh, sure. Whatever that stuff is. Oh, there's a box. No, we got that box. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, weapons, a pistol, mods, and bits. Okay, interesting. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else. All right, so... Oh, look, more critters. Do we want to attack the critters? Ooh, an open door. Let's see if we can go in here without disturbing said critters. Ooh, what is this place? This reminds me of the temple place where we picked up, what's his name? Um, Vicar, yeah. Marauder Thug, Purple Berry Wine. Eh, yeah, why not? Uh, ooh, Magma. Great. Lock picks. Mag picks. That's what they call them. Anything else good around here? Light ammo. Energy. A uh, nice top hat. Got me. Uh, what's in here? Inferno scythe. And a pocket watch. All right. We'll take it. Might as well grab the wine too. Nothing like a nothing wrong with a good drink from time to time. Um. All right. Um. Huh. 
Oh, right. I wanted to go back into the city to see if we could get any uh, better weapons to see if we could, like, survive these, these things. Uh, let's go do that real quick. Did you know Jude Lang growing up? Miss Tennyson? Nah, she never looked my way. I knew of her, though. Who didn't? She was just about the busiest woman on the Groundbreaker. What did folks say about her then? Tough. Competent. Had a glare that'd stop you dead in your tracks. <laughs> Interesting. They, uh, they apparently hide a whole lot of, uh, dialogue in this thing. It's interesting. It smells like rat in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the saltina smell. Trust me, this... You ever seen a real life saltuna? What do you mean live? Saltuna comes in cans? <laughs> saltuna is a kind of fish. Lives in the ocean. You knew that, right? Are you serious? You tell me there's a fish made entirely out of saltuna? <laughs> Never mind. I'll tell you later. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. They're real pretty. And they got these really big teeth if you see them up close. I heard they spit acid right in your eyes. You saw one of them up close? I mean, yeah. They're just about everywhere in Edgewater. Can't hardly turn a corner without slipping in their entrails. Wow. Wait. Are we talking about the same thing? You're not talking about Saltuna? <laughs> I have got to make a habit of recording their uh, their off-cam dialogue stuff. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we were unable to find any weapons better than what we already have. So I am assuming that the solution is to figure out what the D-pad does with our special attack bonuses from our friends. Let's, uh, let's get in there real quick and double check their weapons. Let's go with Felix. He's got a grenade launcher and a toss ball stick. What does that have? 164 and 90. 160 and 123. Yeah, I think we'll swap that. We'll go A. Put that there. Cool. That works. And then we'll check Parvati, who's got a plasma rifle at 71. Okay. 62 to 94 on the DP, on the damage, rather. 156 on the DPS. That looks promising. Ooh, tactical shotgun. Oh, that has distinct possibilities. Anarchist cookbook. Oh, I may take that one. Yeah, I'm thinking we want to swap that for the plasma rifle. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then I'm also thinking maybe we should have kept the size for her, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Okay, so yeah, and then, whoops, wrong button. We got her at 31. Ours isn't that good. What do you mean we got her at 31? Wow. <laughs> That's not nice. No perks, no points, okay. And what do we have over here? Oh, there we go. He's got 16. Well, that's not good. Oh, yeah, we don't have anything better to give him. All right, so... Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll stick with that, okay. No perks, no points. All right, um... Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. My time to shine. Oh, that's what he does. Okay, so how do I get Parvati? To do stuff. I got Felix to do it, but I'm still not sure what I did. Everyone all right? But it did something, so interesting experiment. 
I still don't know what we accomplished with that, but okay. That was basically ruins. Huh. It's just like in the serials. I wonder who used to live. Incoming. Incoming? Oh yeah, they are. How about that? So. Score one for Felix. Yeah. You got it, Captain. What did I do? I don't know. Got him, boss. Got him. Got him. Who's left? Who's left? You are. Hi. Is that all of them? Why is he warbly? Why is he warbly? What is that? Uh. Well, that was weird. I have no idea what that was. Oh, sure, we'll take bits. Okay, well, not much of anything in terms of loot, so... I guess we move on. Really need to figure out how to use that thing. Okay, well, I think I got part of it down. And supposedly the... Up, if I understand this correctly, the left is one that but uh, the light flashy down there is one of them, and the right one is the other. Still not sure what that one does. And this one, basically wherever you're pointing, moving out. They're going. And there they go. And then if I hold it, and it just we bring them back. And there we go. So, yeah. Interesting. Still not entirely sure how to make that work for us, but we'll get there. Oh, look, more critters. Yay. Happy times. Uh, oh, hi. How are you? Well, okay. Got that one. Got that one. Can we do that again? Yeah? Cool. Okay. So, well, that one wasn't quite as lethal. Um, well, that's not cool. There's no stuff here. All right. All right. All right. Uh, what is that? Litter. <laughs> the planet has litter. That's awesome. Well, okay then. Where are we going here? We're going over there? Should we just wander through? Probably not, right? If we go that way, we get to the Marauders. Ooh, let's check the map. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, so we follow the road, wind around this way, and we get eventually to here. So we can skip this whole corner that we know has marauders because we found them, you know, like right in here last time where we died the first time trying to get to our objective. So, yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, I guess, try it. Ouch. That didn't feel good. Acrophobia. After repeated falling from great heights, you no longer function well when on the ground or when the ground is far beneath you. Dexterity minus one, perception minus one, temperament minus one. And that's when we're on great heights, but we get a reward perk. Uh, I don't know how often this is going to happen, but you know what? Let's go ahead and take this one, I guess. We get a reward point. You know what? I'm thinking we take another... Well, I'm wanting to take another tier one, but you know tier two, right? What all is in here? Oh, right. Time dilation. Another thing we need to learn to use. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm thinking we want more XP from companion kills, but there was another one here. Yeah, this one where killing your enemy reduces the cooldown time on companion abilities. There is a limit to how fast you can use them. 
And I'm thinking that might be the warbly thing that was on Felix, although there wasn't one on Parvati, so I'm not entirely sure. But I think we'll go with the XP, because that will help us boost up a little bit. So yeah, I think we're going to go there. All right, now, where are we going? We're going over... Well, wait a minute. You mean it's up there? It's not down... Oh, we can't get to the road down here. Well, wonderful. All right, so this was a really bad idea. All right, so we'll head over this way and try and avoid the smelly whatever this place is. And... I don't see bad guys. Okay. Fallbrook, everything this way except Stellar Bay, which is the other way. Yeah, anything in there? No. All right, well, we'll keep... Can we go over that way? I'm guessing not, but it sure looks like there should be a way over that. Let's check it out and find out. Let's just head up the hill and take a look. Ooh, where are we on the map here? Oh, you know what? This one... You hiding? You Heads up, boss! Oh, great. Uh... Well, shoot. Get him! Get him! Oh, dang it. Not paying attention to the health meter. Well, we made it farther this time than we did last time. All right. Let's uh let's run up the hill here. Jackass is incoming. What? Where? Who? Where? Oh. What? Oh, hi. How are you? Got that one. Come on. Well, we got two of them. How did we not... I don't understand how we didn't trip over those the last time we came through here, but, uh, more? Now what? Did you run through that pool, Felix? Did you run through that? Felix, come on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we go up over there, we get marauders. We go around there, we get marauders. Oh yeah, I just I just spotted one, didn't I? Yeah, the ringleader. Wait a minute, don't we have something with a scope on it somewhere? Not really, but sort of. Oh my. Here we go. Something else. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, so... We go that way, we get killed by marauders. We get go that way, we get killed by marauders. I gotta figure out this whole special ability thing. A scrap mechanical. We know there's a Marauder Ringleader. Why are there no throwables in this game? That's not fair. Let's see. We can do this. Come on. Ooh, we got that one. Whoa, hang on. Uh. Uh. 
Hang on. Ow. Got that one. Who's left? Who's left? Somebody over there. Everyone all right? Cool. Well, we made it through that one, so let's go. Supposed to be a dead guy up here somewhere. There was a Marauder Lookout. Where? I was going to loot, but I guess not. Oh, there he is. Dead Eye Assault Rifle, you say? Oh, we got to check that out. 198 by 99 long guns. Special effect execute? <laughs> Hammersmith originally tried to sell this gun with the slogan, Sniper's Choice, but they were sued by a company that they are legally not allowed to identify. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So what do we got here? We got an LMG with 19... 320 by 19, 215 by 28, 352 by 70, light pistol, and then we get 198 by 99, but I'll bet that's a single shot. I'm thinking we get rid of the LMG, and we go with the rifle. Repair, hold, unequip, Y, options. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's not what I want. All right, fine. We will just... Uh, Unequip that one and equip that one. There we go. That should be fun to try out. All right, where are we going? We're going this way. Find these guys, gather all their stuff, and we'll move on up the hill. The ringleader had nothing. He had a really nice weapon on him. What the heck? All right. All right. Somewhere over here was a scrap mechanical, right? Well, that was kind of a bust. I had, I found like nothing. None of the, the, the bad guys that we shot, other than the two that we saw, I didn't even find the scrap mechanical. That's not cool. Oh, what is that? Amber Heights. So that, uh, judging by these flags, is a Marauder place, somehow. Cascadia is that way, Fallbrook is that way, Amber Heights is behind, is here? Oh, that's Amber Heights. So, what was it? There was something in Amber Heights, wasn't there? Do I remember that correctly? There it is. Look for Tucker Needham in Amber Heights. It's a settlement that houses iconoclasts on Monarch, if Tucker... Survived his travels. His mother thinks he'll be there. Oh, right. That's the, the, the missing kid. Right. Okay, well, since we're here, let's go look at that. Who are you? Rose. Hi, Rose. Let's talk well, to Rose. hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. Pamphlet? In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophers truths and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Already? Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh okay, who the heck are you guys? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. Uh-huh. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Right. Uh yeah, what about those? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal ah. with them as they come. You're welcome okay. to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Uh-huh. One big happy family. I'm looking for work. Do you have a boss leader or something? Got it. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Uh, yeah, one big happy family. Sure, let's try it. That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. <laughs> you can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples we right more like them right tell me about graham why he's our founder right graham taught us about philosophism through him we came to the eternal truth i'm glad you're asking by the way i hope you'll consider staying uh-huh i'm really kind of wishing i had uh 
Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. The Vicar. Yeah. I uh, really kind of wishing I had him. I'd love to have his extra dialogue on this. But okay, tell me about Zora. Who the heck is Zora? She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and uh -huh. finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. Right. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she's sawed <laughs> back on for you. <laughs> That's great. Uh, why are you here not in Stellar Bay? Sure. Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. Uh-huh. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. Who's MSI? A spiritual metaphor. Something about rising from the ashes. All right. Well, where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. All right. Well, before I go, have you seen this guy? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Okay. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Got it. One of. There's a few of them up there. All right. So, uh, the who are you? Amber Heights. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? Interesting. Okay. Perceptive, Parvati. Uh, one of the up the hill. So I guess we're going. The building straight back. Revolutionary? Okay. Uh, straight back. Wonder what that means. Tucker's over there. Any quests we got off of that? No, we didn't. All right, so. All right, let's go find Tucker. All right, so. He's in there, but somewhere there's a building. Where? Huh. All right. Here we go. Hi, Tucker. Oh, Tucker's not a kid. Got it. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Uh, yeah, we'll go with Fergie. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. I will. You need to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? That would be interesting. Yeah, isn't that who you are? I am not a little boy. No I've kidding. Been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Uh-huh. Asked me to rescue you. She offered a reward to anyone who brings you back to Stellar Bay. Yeah, let's probably not bring up rewards. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. Yeah, gathered that. Life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Uh-huh. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I've known a few people like I that. I around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. I don't blame you. Uh, running away is for cowards. You need to face her. Show her you're grown up. I'm getting that reward either. So what do you want to do about it? She'll keep sending people to look for you. You're going back to Stellar Bay. Uh, you know what? Let's do the persuade thing. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Well, you survived. Show her your skills. Teach her iconoclast philosophies. Convert her. Yeah, we'll go there. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. There you go. No one can. Okay. Hey, we leveled up. And we got like extra points or no, we, uh, the iconic class, um, ba 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 reputation. Yeah, that went up. So what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? 10 points. Where do we want to put it? You know what? I'm thinking, you know what? I'm thinking we split it again between dialogue or, uh, leadership and tech. 
Yeah, I'm thinking that's a good thing. I hope. Because we did that. <laughs> perks, no perks. Anything for companions? No. Okay. Well. Ooh. Terminal. View work orders. What do we got? Steam coming out of the roof. Arcing electricity at the bar. Haven't heard from the Rapt House. Dear Diary. Medical Examiner's Residence. Door sealed. Huh. Pipes on top of my house are going to burst. They're leaking steam. Someone ought to fix it. So I'm guessing... Oops, wrong button. So I'm guessing all of that. I'm care Dear Diary, let's check that one out. Haven't heard from the Rapt House. What is that? Ain't heard from Rapt House in a while. Sent Milton over. Ain't heard from him either. Aha. Hack remotely reset the Rapt House communication breaker. We don't have the points for that. Well, that's a bummer. Now I'm wishing I'd put the stuff in there. All right. Huxley, stay off the machine. I know your terminal's out of storage. Okay. Uh, dear diary, Hux, eat it. All righty. And door sealed. What's this one? Door to the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck. Completely sealed. Can someone get this? Engage remote force door lever operation. Oh, we can do that. Seals lifted. Work order completed. All right. Well, wait a minute. Could we do something with the others? Engineering 50. Remotely reroute the water. Oh, we can. Okay. Engineering got us extra points there. Arcing at the bar. Science we don't have. Well, okay. So there isn't anything we can do with the rest of them. Ah, hack, erase the work order. Interesting. Well, now I'm wishing we'd put those points in engineering because then we could have done all this stuff, or at least some of it. Anything we can grab? Apparently not. It's all steel. Wonderful. Now what? Oh, right. Who's this? Uh, Ash. Rioter. <laughs> Agitator. Rioter. Right. All right. And you are Rioter. So who are you? You're named. Hi. Never seen you before. Nope. I'm new here. You say that like it's a problem. Eh, we'll just do this. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. All righty. I've been halfway around T1. T1? Reinhardt, they call it now. Been around it twice. Sit at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing okay. Nothing moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Aha. Uh -huh. What happened to you here? What's your story? Yeah. It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar. I drink. I mind my own business. That's it. All righty. Uh, I said you've been around the whole moon. You must know a few things no one else does. I can buy you a bottle or bust one over your head. Don't call me kid. Over somebody saying you were the best to ask about the real monarch. Strength that I could outdrink you. No, we're not going there. Honestly, I'm kind of wanting to lie to the guy because that appears to mean points. You said you've been around the whole moon. Must know a few things. Yeah, let's try it. Whoever said that must have been lying. Or maybe they was drunk. I don't know nothing a dozen better folk couldn't tell you. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. <laughs> okay. Heartbreak, what happened? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? Ooh, job. job for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Okay. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, what did they do? Mostly we protected folk from the beasts here. If it spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. Good. As long as you had the bits. Right. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. Ah. Never about seeing it found. 
got it. You want mementos, photographs, whatnot. What if they're still alive? Can't you find them? All right, one locks box coming up. Well, what if they're alive? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. Uh -huh. I just want some closure. Copy that. All right, what are we going after? Thereabouts. Uh-huh. All right, coming up. Appreciate it, kid. I'm Don't call me, kid. Your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Uh-huh. All righty, so where's this one taking us? Little Memento. Family matter, now what? Oh, we got to go back to Agnes. Well, we're not going to do that right away. Investigate pointed you toward his unit's old outpost. So, where's the, oh, there it is. 86 meters, that's it? 80 meters, oh, that's the door to the, the thing. All right, fine. So where was this place that he told us to go look? Because... Seems like a nice little town, except for all the dead critters. <laughs> yeah. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. All right. Uh, whatever that means. Steel, right? Yeah, steel. Nothing useful in this whole lot. All right. I will take your word for it, pal. Um. So where? Oh, I bet it's in here where that sign is. Yeah. Uh, or maybe not. Revolutionary. No, that's just... Well, where's the HQ building that the guy was talking about that it said was just up the way? Um, is it this? Oh. This looks kind of official. No, this looks like a barracks... A manticore. Yeah. We felled it, Maya. Oh, we found him! But we lost two runners and five gun hands. Ooh. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. Really? I'm sure that... Who's that? Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Hi, how you doing, pal? Let's talk to Graham. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk... You've found one. Uh, I was following one when I got here. I am one. Right. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Okay. Uh, what do you teach? I'm told you're out of pamphlets. That's a shame. This is Amber Heights. I expected more altars, incense, or both. Yeah, well, if we had Vicar, this would probably go way down. I really wish I'd brought him now. Darn it. Maybe. Oh, I can't get out of this. Well, that's a bummer. All right, what do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Right. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. A lot to be said for that. Endless ammunition and medical tape. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Right. Now, why have you come? Well, looking for ways to help people, what needs doing. I uh, want to know more about your teachings. Tell me about the iconoclast, checking out the sites. Yeah, let's just straight up go to the top. No. Tell me about the iconoclast. I heard about you. You're trying to change the colony, right? Transform the soul and character of Halcyon. Okay. Right you are, my boy. Soon, every man, woman, and child will experience their own spiritual awakening under my guidance. Of course. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Of course. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Uh-huh. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Man, I can't... I, I keep going back to why didn't I bring Vicar? I mean, I know it's because I want Felix's combat skills, but, you know... 
Uh, be dangerous to let anarchy run rampant. From what I've seen, I have to agree. Anarchy would be better. Is this why the board has cordoned off Monarch? Well, uh, let's go there. Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. Uh-huh. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad no argument there. Sure. All right. All right, what? Uh, sure. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. Right. What would you like to know? <laughs> it is eternal. What do you mean by awakening? Do you believe in a creator? Uh, yeah, let's go there. The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth. Uh-huh. Every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. Right. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Uh-huh. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI. Just what is like MSI? The before him. I don't remember what MSI is. Huh, I brushed with death, but I don't believe any of this. What friend was that? Sanjar Nandi. Oh, he him. He's MSI out of Stellar Bay. Such a shame, the way his sensibilities have been corrupted over time. Uh-huh. All right, what about the word eternal? Ah, uh, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Okay. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You what? And I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Right. All right, even LSI are the members similarly divine. It must be more divine than a beast. Oh, I must be more divine than a beast. But I don't believe any of this. How can I be divine? Yeah, let's ask about OSI. Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Alrighty. Uh, do you believe? Not in the sense of a single entity. Aha. Uh -huh. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time. Aha. Uh -huh. Organically, naturally, and without purpose. Okay. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Aha! Uh -huh. Whoa. I think I just felt my brain kick into a higher gear. Oh, boy. Is this what you folks call enlightenment? If it were only that easy, my delightfully eager friend, you've taken but one step on our long and arduous, but ultimately fulfilling, path toward the eternal truth. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, looks like we're done. All right. So, All right. uh, never mind. Why have you come? What do we get now? Uh, I'm just looking for ways to help. We did the question. So, yeah, what do you need doing? A great many things, in fact. Oh, boy. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. All right. Or, now here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Uh-huh. Printing press on Monarch, why? Wouldn't supplies help more? Uh, why? I have always dreamed of subverting the colony's periodicals and <laughs> turning the board's own propaganda against Alrighty. them. Alrighty. If I could get my message directly in the hands of Byzantium citizens, I'm sure they'd recognize the truth. Right. Will you aid us in our cause? Um, I guess, since Wonderful. I don't have other options. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. Uh-oh. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It uh -oh. seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Right. Um, MSI supplies you? Weren't they the bad guys? One of our sympathizers. The oh. woman periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Oh. Stellar Bay has cut on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. I bet they do. All right, where are the supplies? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All righty. And, oh, okay, I guess I'll be right back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? 
There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. Uh -huh. Use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Right. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Okay. Well, there seems to be a, uh, a, uh, rift going on. So, hi. Whoa, wrong button. Hey. Uh, not talking to us. Maybe we wait for her to go to triage. Uh, no bartender, so nothing we can buy. Where are we going? We're going 54 meters that way. Why can't you go see them? What? Oh, that's going to be the door to the place, right? Right? Yeah, that's the door. Okay. So once she's in there, let's see what the dissatisfied Zora has to say. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Clearly. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so you run triage? Yeah, name's Zora. I've been patching up the iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. Okay, so your sawbones around here get injured that often? Yes. I mean, it's clear she's the doctor. You joking? It's Monarch. Can't set foot outside <laughs> without being attacked by a beast or a marauder. Okay, okay. Uh, doesn't seem wasteful. It does seem wasteful to buy parts rather than food. You always talk to your leaders like that, given the amount of patching. I'm guessing the ruins was a catastrophe. Sure, we'll read between the lines. A Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere. And I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. Sounds like. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Aha. Uh -huh. So, need any help? Sure. You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. Who's Bronson? He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Thank you. All right, so... I'm guessing there was more stuff there somewhere. All right, so... Well, who's Bronson? Wait a minute. Uh... Don't know. Huh. All right, so... I guess let's go see what that is. There is a lot so going on game in this night. game. I still can't believe Armstrong ran the field from the Tuesday zone. Um, yeah. Armstrong, really something. Nearly took a fellow's head clean off with a tossball stick. Yeah, well, he's a hacker. That's what they do. Rangers don't show a shred of mercy in a Darlings game. Okay. Bates got tossed out of the game for excessive sportsmanlike conduct in the third excessive half. Excessive sportsmanlike <laughs> conduct? <laughs> I don't know what a Tuesday zone is. I don't know my tenders from my fours. Thing is, I just don't understand tossball. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'll teach you all there is to know. Alrighty. Great. Right. That's just swell. Can't wait. Ah, oh, the excitement. <laughs> okay, so now where are we going? 300 meters that way, somehow. Uh, how? Let's check the map. All right. Uh, I guess we're just going off into the wilderness, maybe. Nope. Apparently, to get anywhere, you have to follow the roads for the most part. All right. Well, the good news is this road is clear. So, where are we going? That way. I'm guessing we'll find more critters around these. Oh, look, marauders. Scrap mechanic. Those respawned? That's the same guys we cleared out a little bit ago. What? All right, all right. Uh. So what is this place? Didn't we clean and check this place? Right? I thought we did. Huh. 
Did we not? Bayside? Oh, apparently we didn't. Oh, bad thingies. Yeah. A canid. Okay. Canids are usually found. Well, we... Usually found with marauders. Yeah. Incoming! Where'd it go? There it is. Hi. Hi. Gotcha. Who's left? You are. Hi. This gun is worthless against these things. Ah, we got that one. Cool. All right, so... Where's our marker? Marker's over there. So somehow we're supposed to go through that, I guess? Oh, there's buildings up there, so... But the road ends here? No, the road keeps going. All right. I don't recall the road on the map. What? Oh, we're not going up there. We're going... 150 meters, but there's no way... I guess we are going around. Up and over, or something anyway. So, where are we going? Not that way. Uh... Well? I guess maybe we go through town? Or whatever this place is? Ah! This way, maybe? Destroyed road, yep, does look like. And then... Ooh, there's a lot up here. Hang on. Bayside Terrace Warehouse discovered. So, where's our marker? 74 meters that way. Who are you? Niles! Hi, Niles! You're not shooting at us, so let's talk to Niles. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. Right. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. I appreciate that. Uh, what's going on? Need to get inside? Nobody tells me to saw it off. Uh, yeah. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Uh-huh. I'm supposed to meet someone here. That's what? What's wrong with the generator? Why are you out here fixing a generator in the middle of nowhere? Um, yeah, let's just ask what's wrong with it. What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted, <laughs> pumping out gas. It ain't safe. Right. Uh, thanks for the warning. You're standing around this fence, though. Shouldn't you be fixing it? Yeah, let's just thank you for the warning. Yeah, whatever. And I need to get inside. And I'm just going to let you walk on in? Why is that now? Uh, okay. Persuade. You're here for Carlotta. I get it. I'll offer you get paid. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Lie, I'm here to investigate reports of an infestation, which we can't do. Persuade, you're here for Carlotta. I get it. I'll offer you get paid. We all go home with a win. What? Um, okay. Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. Right. I don't know if we were supposed to do that or not, but, you know. Sublight thug. Lots of sublight people. All right. A whole column of them going out. Huh. Interesting. Well, uh, we, ma <laughs> we made it across the bridge. We got our one objective done. We picked up three more. My gods, that quest log is just exploding. But I think... That is going to be enough for now. I want to thank you for spending your time with us here at the Chartreuse Leprechaun today. As always, it's appreciated. If you enjoyed it, do us a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe. All that wonderful stuff so you don't miss anything around here. Sealed. All right. Hmm. Interesting. And leave us a comment on what you liked, what needs improvement, what we can do better. All that wonderful stuff because... Hey, we want to get better. And you can check out the links in the description below if you're interested in supporting us. But no matter what, no matter what, always, always, 
Always remember, the leprechaun is out there to mess things up for you, for me, for everyone. It's what he does. So yeah, consider yourself warned if you see it and you can't quite explain it. You can be sure the leprechaun did it. Now you have yourselves a great day, a great week, and we will see you here next time on The Chartreuse Leprechaun. Bye-bye. Thank you.